The Mercedes-Benz F-Cell World Drive has reached the magnificent city of St. Petersburg, the final destination in Russia. Our step from Asia to Europe was wonderful. We had sunshine, we had amazing drivers and we are here now. Eight driving days and more than 3,000 kilometers are behind the World Drive crew and of course Moscow, Russia's capital. We had a wonderful press day with a lot of very interested journalists. They all did test drives and were amazed by our car. But the traffic is just horrible. Marie Radfelder has been part of the World Drive team in the United States and joined up with the team again in China. She's in charge of maintenance and repairs of the convoy cars. Although this is still quite an atypical job for a woman, being the only female member of the tech crew on this leg is not a problem at all for her. I was interested in technology since my childhood. I've never been the puppet-playing type of girl. In my team here I feel totally accepted as a woman and get along with my colleagues very well. Although in some countries this was different. Some people couldn't really believe a woman can be a qualified technician. Jörg Priegel is also on the road with us for a couple of days. The head of program management A and B class absolutely had to join the drive, he says, to get his own first-hand impressions, appreciate the efforts of the convoy crew and to witness the success of this technology. This is not coming all just of a sudden. This is a long, long, long months, weeks, years work. And what you see, the car is a result out of the perfect interaction between all the components we have. Not at least the, the fuel cell, that's new technology. It's not proved in the market. It's absolutely new and we have it in an existing car, optimized working. From St. Petersburg, the F-Cell World Drive will move on to Helsinki the most northern point of the drive.